Today, Ryzen 8000G has some insane memory potential. AMD made a serious mistake. The power of competition, millions of toothbrushes just attacked a website, and you can in fact download more FPS. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, if you saw my recent video on AMD's new Ryzen 8000G, you know that memory speed is very important when it comes to APUs. And that's because, unlike discrete GPUs, integrated graphics don't have their own dedicated memory, so they have to rely on system memory. And that means the faster your memory speed, the better your FPS gets. And in that video, I mentioned the fact that AMD claims you can get memory speeds up to 8000. Well, it looks like AMD's new APUs can actually should get even higher, as SafeDisk just announced a new record of 10,600 megatransfers per second on dual channel memory and an ROG Crosshair X670E gene. What's wild is that the new record was achieved on a G-Skill Trident Z5 kit that was validated for 7800, so it's a pretty huge overclock. To top it off, they didn't use any kind of over-the-top cooling to achieve it. Now, some people have discussed a bug in a GISA firmware that may display higher frequencies, but SafeDisk shows that it is in fact the real frequency with an oscilloscope. So this is the real deal. Now, unfortunately, they didn't share any benchmarks with this, but there were some recent benchmarks shared at DDR5-9000, and those show a 15% uplift in AI performance on the 8700G, so memory speed can make a very real difference. With that said, there is some bad news for AMD's new desktop APUs. Just recently, a change was noticed by a Reddit user on AMD's official spec page for their 8000G series. As you can see in this archived page, AMD originally claimed that the 8700G supported ECC, or error correction code memory, given the motherboard also supports it. And that's a pretty big deal for certain industries that need support for that. Now you may have heard that DDR5 actually comes with ECC built in, but while it's better than no ECC, it does doesn't actually correct for errors once the data leaves the memory, while traditional ECC does. So anyone who needed ECC before still does. Unfortunately, AMD has since been caught quietly removing that support on their 8000G APUs. And according to Tom's Hardware, who asked for clarity on this, AMD has in fact been removing that claim because none of the 8000G series APUs support it. With that said, as Tom's Hardware mentions, AMD will likely release pro versions of the APUs that do offer that support. Time will tell, but it sucks to see AMD claim support and then just remove it. Next up, we have yet more proof of the power of competition. As you know, Nvidia has officially released all of their next generation super GPUs, and with that new series brings quite a bit of pressure to AMD. Sure, the 4080 Super isn't much better than the regular 4080, but it's still $200 cheaper. Unfortunately, AMD doesn't have any new cards of their own to compete, so they're left with one option, lower prices. And that's exactly what's happening over at Team Red. As you can see right here, you can now I'll pick up a 7900 XT for below $700. Okay, it's $699, so it's basically $700, but it's a far cry from the original MSRP of $900. And at that price, it puts it $100 less than the 4070 Ti Super. And given both cards are pretty close in rasterization, if you don't care too much about ray tracing, it could be a good buy. If you do, the 4070 Ti is likely the card for you, though you'll have to pay that $100 premium. Not only that, but PowerColor is offering a 7700 XT for just $353, which is a pretty nice price drop from its original MSRP. Of course, I don't know how long these will last, so you may want to pick one up soon if you're interested. For that, I'll have affiliate links down in the description below. They don't cost you anything more, and it helps the channel out. And next up for today, millions of toothbrushes just attacked a website. Yeah, your ears didn't just lie to you. According to a recent report, 3 million toothbrushes were infected with malware and put to work in a botnet. That was then used as part of a DDoS attack on a Swiss company's website. Now, there are some security experts saying this isn't true, with one stating the article just uses it as an example. But when I checked, it is claiming to have actually happened. I'm not really sure here, and it does seem so suspect, but I've got to ask anyway, why do we need toothbrushes connected to the internet? I mean, do you really need to track your oral hygiene on an app? If anything, if it's true, I think the whole internet of things approach really isn't the best idea. 
And lastly for today, you can actually download more FPS. Something I never thought I'd say, but in this case, it's true. In a video from Digital Foundry, they test a new mod that lets you add FSR 3's frame generation to DLSS 3 frame generation titles. And what's wild is that you aren't forced to use FSR 3 reconstruction to use it. You can still use DLSS, but with FSR's frame generation, meaning that you can get frame generation with DLSS on NVIDIA's older RTX 20 and 30 series GPUs. And as you can see, the boost it gets is right around what you can expect with DLSS 3's frame generation. So this is a pretty Pretty huge deal for anyone with an older NVIDIA GPU, proving that AMD making FSR 3 open source helps everyone. One downside is that this only supports NVIDIA GPUs. There are also some minor visual flaws here and there, but overall this looks like a very nice way to overcome the challenges brought to GPUs when NVIDIA decided not to support frame generation on older cards. Thank you AMD. So while that does it for today, did your toothbrush attack a Swiss company's website? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day.